Hello fellow OFWs and other overseas workers in Japan. If you're like me who sends money back home every month and you're from any of these countries, then this video is for you. Do you always feel like the remittance and transaction fees are taking up a big chunk of money from your remittance? Or maybe you're already sick of following up with the remittance company asking when your recipient is going to receive the money. Or maybe you're tired of having to manually send a picture of your receipt every time you send remittance. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Minasan, I have the solution for you. I've tried several remittance companies already and I finally found the one, the best and the ultimate remittance company. Let me introduce you to Pay4X. Pay4X is a remittance company owned by Queen Bee Capital and it has over 39 currencies available and you can send your money to over 200 countries worldwide. You can get a 3,000 yen reward on your first remittance and if you want to know more about it, stick until the end of this video. There are many reasons why I love Pay4X and I've been using it for over two years. Whenever my friends ask me, what do you use to send money back home, I always recommend Pay4X. I really cannot recommend it enough. There are various receiving methods that are not only limited to bank account. The remittance fee is also starting from 0 yen which is the lowest in the industry. There's a multi-language support and there are over 10 languages available for everyone. Unlike any other remittance companies, you're guaranteed to send money for free without any transaction or without any remittance fee once a month. And did I mention they have a mobile app? Yes, they have a mobile app which makes sending your remittance really easy. You can download the Pay4X mobile app on both Android and iOS. It is very easy to use Pay4X. All you have to do is set up your free account and they will send you a form with your transaction password. Once you receive your password by mail, you can send remittance right away. After completing the transaction on the mobile app, the next thing is payment. And there are many ways to pay your remittance such as pay easy, convenience store payment, bank transfer, or even direct deduction from your bank account through the PayPay Pay bank. Once you're done with the payment, you will receive a text message and an email confirming the completion of your transaction. You can check the status of your remittance right away on the mobile app so you don't need to follow up with a customer service agent or with the Facebook page of the remittance company about your remittance. Also in my experience, I never had to wait for over a day. It's usually just within an hour or even just a few minutes after I send the money. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how you can make a free account. So first, please go to www.payforex.net slash register. So this is how you can make an account using your computer. You can also do this and register in the app by downloading the apps in the App Store and the Google Play Store. You can register using your mobile phone number or your email address. But eventually, you will have to need both to receive the notifications from the company. So let's try to register with an email address. Don't forget to click Confirm to agree with the terms of use and the privacy policy. And then click Next. So the website will send you an email and you will have to enter the verification code that you receive. Just choose a password that you can easily remember because you will be using that whenever you're logging into the app. Now click submit. So now that you're done with the initial registration, the next step is activating your account. So you cannot send a remittance right away without activating your account and without verifying that you are the real person under this name. So on the web page, just click activate account and then just choose individual account unless you're signing up for your company this is what we should always click so click individual account and confirm in this next section you're going to fill in with your personal information make sure that you're not going to make any mistake because they're going to check this side by side with the identification that you're going to submit for the sake of this video, I'm just going to fill this in with the fake information using my real nationality. So I'm going to choose the Philippines. And let's say my name is John Smith. So if we look at this reminder, it says that we need to enter our full name that appears on our residence card in alphabetical characters. Next is your birth date. So let's just choose the suggested one. 2005 
and John Smith is a male. The next part, you will have to enter your Japanese telephone number. So this is a must. If you don't have a Japanese phone number, I highly recommend getting one or at least getting the Skype phone number or the cheapest one which is mobile. The next section is the Facebook ID but this doesn't have an asterisk which means this is not a must. You don't need to put in this information if you don't want to. The next part is our occupation. So you need to choose the correct category for you whether you're a business um, executive of a business, office worker, a government um, office worker or executive of government office, a government employee, are you self-employed? freelance professional, um, are you in the farming, forestry, or fishery industry, a teacher, daycare teacher, doctor, lawyer, or a certified public accountant, or a certified tax accountant, a nurse, care worker, or a housewife. So again, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to choose, um, let's say, as, oh, there's more over here. I'm going to choose student. And then on the next part, you need to put your annual income so this is just like the estimate of your annual income so let's just choose less than 3 million yen because we are a student and then here it's going to ask you for the estimated amount of remittance per year this doesn't have to be accurate this doesn't have to reflect your actual remittance for that year but this is just going to give the company an idea of how much you're going to be sending throughout the year so let's choose the lowest amount which is less than 2 million yen and then this is the automatic remittance certificate which means you don't need to apply for the remittance certificate at the end of the year to apply for your tax refund or adjustment you can set it up right over here so i'm choosing october 25th so that will give me a lot of time to prepare my other documents to submit to the tax office. And then the next part would be the purpose of your remittance. So if you can just choose the reason why you're sending money. Um, for the sake of this video, let's just choose living expenses. And then just click next. The next part will ask you the secret question. So this is in case you forget your password and you will have to reissue that before a new password is reissued you need to answer the secret question so these are the secret questions just choose one the next part is just a confirmation of the customer information here you'll have a chance to check and change anything if there's anything that needs to be changed and once you're done with that please click the be in agreement with the above and click submit so the next part is about the identity confirmation. So it says that the information of the customer is complete, but you will still have to uh, submit identity confirmation documents to activate your account. So just click submit your identification documents. So you have to choose the method of your identity confirmation. So the recommended one is uploading documents. Do is scan your residence card and upload it here. For the residence card, you have to upload both the front and the back side. You may also verify your identity by email, by fax, or by post. So we're going to choose upload documents in this video. So we have some guidelines over here. Your residence card has to be unexpired. And then the recommended file formats are PNG, JPG, and JPEG. Make sure to turn the flash off and use close-up mode to make sure text can be read clearly and then the maximum file size that can be uploaded is 10 megabyte per file so a total of 20 megabyte for both the front and the back side so just click select file or activate camera if you're doing this on the mobile app you will have to use your camera phone but if you're using your computer or your pc i highly recommend having the files ready and just selecting them after the next button so i have successfully submitted a dummy copy of my residence card next step would be submitting the second identity confirmation document so we have several options here you may upload your individual my number card driver's license health insurance card 
or the copy of certificate residence or the Ju Min Hyo. Okay, so it says now that the submission of identification documents has been confirmed and then just click completed. Oh, it says here that the upload is completed and we need to wait for a while until the account opening review is over. So the people at the company will review the documents that you submitted and will give you a go once your account has been verified. The status of my registration now with my dummy account is being reviewed and I will have to wait for an email to get that confirmation. They will send the transaction password which I'll be using every time I send money and you will have to keep that password or at least take a picture of that password so that you have it whenever you need it and just use it whenever you want. That's it. That's how easy it is to make a pay forex account and it's free. It doesn't even take 10 minutes as long as you have the proper documents with you. Now that you have a free account, I'm going to show you how to use the mobile app and how to send remittance. First, you need to enter the password that you chose when you first registered your account. To send money, you need to make sure that your recipient is already a registered beneficiary. And to do that, all you have to do is click the beneficiary button. And then click plus new beneficiary. Now you need to choose the country of the person who will be receiving your money. So for this video, I'm going to choose the Philippines. Let me find the Philippines. And then you have to choose how you want that person to receive the money. It can be received by bank account, by e-wallet, like Pimaya or Gcash, by cash pickup, or by home delivery. So the most commonly used one and the one that I use the most is transfer by bank account. So you can choose which kind of bank account it is. So I'm just choosing a Philippine Peso bank account and click next. Now you just need to fill this in with your beneficiary's information, including the first name, the last name, the phone number, the beneficiary's birthday, your relationship, and this includes spouse, children, parents, sibling, relative, self. You can also send money to your bank account in your home country an ex-spouse, a friend, a business partner, a customer, an employee, a supplier, a creditor, a debtor, or others. So let's just say you're going to send to your parent. You need to include the complete address of your beneficiary here, here, and then the bank account of your beneficiary. So just choose the correct bank account over here, and then put in their account number. Make sure that the numbers are correct so that you wouldn't have any problems when you send the money. Now that your new beneficiary is added, you can send the remittance by clicking the remittance button below. And then choose which beneficiary you want to send the money to. So PayForex allows you to see how much it'll be in the currency of your recipient. So for example, if I'm going to be sending 50,000 yen, if after the deduction, the 900 yen deduction fee, and the current rate is 1 yen is to 0.38 peso, it'll be 19,000 pesos. If you want, you can choose to have the remittance certificate delivery service. It'll be sent to your email, but that would need 10 points. And at the beginning, when you sign up, if you got the 3,000 yen reward from me, automatically that will be deducted from that but if you don't have it you will still have a 1000 reward for signing up so it will be deducted from that so just click that and then check the email where it will be sent click agree and then click next on this page you can double check the information to make sure that there are no mistakes you can choose to add it to cart and then to send it later or to pay now if you choose to pay now you have two hours to complete the transaction, otherwise it will be deleted from your cart. 
So let's choose pay now. Here we have several options. You can pay by convenience store, by pay easy, or by bank transfer. If it's by bank transfer, there is no transaction fee. If you pay by pay easy, you will have to pay additional 100 yen. Or if you pay by convenience store, additional 200 yen. I usually pay by pay easy because Yucho or the post office and Japan Post is everywhere. It's easy for me to find it. And also family marts usually have pay easy ATMs. So that's also very easy to find. Let's just choose convenience store for now. If you have Lawson Mini Stop, Seiko Mart, Daily Yamasaki, and this natural Lawson that I personally haven't been to, it's also very easy because all you have to do is scan the QR code and then bring the receipt to the counter and pay it over the counter. So for pay easy, you will have to follow the guide. At the beginning, it may look confusing because everything is in Japanese, but once you get to know it, once you're used to it, it's going to be very easy. Also, there's a very detailed guide that will show you how to do it. And this is what I was saying earlier. The transaction password from the mail that you received from PayForex will be needed here. The app will not allow you to send money without inputting the transaction password that you got by mail. This is an added protection for the customers. And then if you choose bank transfer, your bank options are the GMO, Auzora Net Bank, or the PayPay Bank. So for this video, I'm going to show you how to do it by PayEasy. And just click Confirm Pay. You need to put in your password. After you put in the password, it will give you the numbers that you need to put in the ATM machine using the PayEasy. Again, there are many numbers and you will also have to enter your phone number. But don't worry because there is a very detailed guide here on how you can pay the deposit or how you can send the remittance money using PayEasy. So just click the PayEasy and then click the manual input. Enter the first number that's on the list, then the second number, then the third number. And click the confirm button or the green button and then double check enter the amount and click cash or if you have a mutual or a jp bank you can also directly get from your bank account so click card click confirm and enter your phone number and then put the money in the machine after that, it will count the money you put in, just click the green button, you will get the receipt and your change if you have any. And that's it. That's how easy it is to pay or to send money using the app. So before I forget, there are other two things that I really appreciate about Pay4X. So number one is the point system. Whenever you send money, you earn points back which means these points can be used for future remittances, which I think is very considerate. So if you're like me, then maybe you're also filing for a tax refund or adjustment at the end of every year. And one of the requirements is a remittance certificate. All you have to do is set up the date when you'd like to automatically receive the remittance certificates by mail so you can submit them to the tax office. So today is September 4th, 2023, and Pay4X is running two campaigns right now. The first campaign is double points, which means whenever you send money during this period, you're going to receive double points. And the second campaign that I mentioned earlier in this video is the 3000 reward points. If you sign up to pay Forex using the link in my description below or using my code, you will receive a 3000 yen reward after your first remittance. I will also be receiving a little bit of commission from every referral that I get from this video. But at the same time, you'll be getting your 3,000 yen reward. So I think it's a win-win situation. So what are you waiting for? Sign up to pay Forex today for free and send your first remittance. If you have any questions about pay Forex or about life in Japan in general, please don't hesitate to message me or to leave a comment in the comment section down below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye!